for this, it's a, a sleep study. And so we're using the same set and they're all connected. All of these three stories are gonna be connected through the fact that they're all simultaneously in like a sleep study. See, I talked about this in some meetings that we had. I likened it to like a, a train and we got on this train and um, we, you know, we aborted the train, me and the crew, and we took a little ride on this train and it was bouncy and scary and gears were falling off and the train was old and unstable and we didn't know it was going to be that way. But once we started shooting, we couldn't stop because our time was so limited. We were shooting three, you know, fairly complex short films in one short term and therefore we, we just had to keep going. So I didn't know where the train was going to take us, but we just stayed aboard and we got it. We got the movie shot, <laughs> but it was, it was kind of a bumpy, scary ride, but it was also thrilling and fun. I did have a good time. Once we got on that train and we were going, I had a good time. I think most of my nerves were up until the shoot. Um, and I know the shoot was rocky, but I still had a blast. So that's great. Uh, oh. Two years ago, oh, wait. Six years ago. Six years ago, tomorrow. It's funny, it's not quite today, but six years ago tomorrow was the first day of shooting Benevolent Boys. Oh, wow. <laughs> wait, what? That's all. Awesome. I'm sorry. I, a March 3rd, 2016. Like, oh, this is over and now it's March 2nd, 2022. And we're making it. Like, Our picture just fell anymore. off the Jacob, wall. Can you come stand like that? Was <laughs> horrifying. Yeah. All right. Will is an incredibly collaborative director. And, you know, he's one of those directors who doesn't mind, you know, spur of the moment changes. You know, just like all of the school's productions, things, things went wrong or things didn't always go the way they were supposed to. And Will was just like, you know what, we'll change it, that's fine. With Pluto, this was when I was, you know, right before we were shot, just a couple months before, I had this dream where I was looking under the bed for some reason and there was nothing there. And then suddenly as if it was this flat shadow, it just raised up from the floor of the bed because in the dream, um, a lantern had fallen off to the side so it was illuminating underneath the bed and then this shadow, this flat shadow monster just went into my vision, into, into you know, the, in my dream, I, it just popped up in front of me and it, and it really scared me and so when I woke up I thought that's a cool visual for a movie, I want to do that sometime. And that's all I came in with when I went to the advanced screenwriting class and they were writing scripts that we could potentially use for sleep study. And all I did was pitch that dream and I said, I just want to make, I just want to direct a film that has that slice in it because it would be fun to bring a part of my dreams to life. I went in and pitched that and then Cass wrote the script and used that little slice within the script but formed a bigger story all around it. And, uh, but that's, that, that was the first little seed for, for what ended up being Pluto. Remember that people come before movies. Uh, Spencer and Will will say that a lot. Listen to them. People are awesome. People are important. My name is Lara, also known as Larg. I taught at East Hollywood High School. I taught art for about five years. I worked alongside Will and Spencer and they talk about how fun but how draining and stressful it is to direct these films. And I just kind of a little bit like just was like you know what I would be willing to give it a shot like just if you guys want a different perspective if you guys want a little bit of a break I would love to do that and they were like hmm good to know hmm 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 when they were coming up with the idea of anthology they're like one two three films there's Will there's Spencer what if we take Laura up on that offer camera rolling Okay, so that says large 7 y 4 if you can't read it. Okay, now draw some just liney lines. Liney lines. Oh, it's the hair. I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> Don't take everything so seriously. Be, be just be lighthearted. Have fun with it. But also take it seriously, this is professional. <laughs> you got a flag in here still? Right. 
It's outside this door. Can we, yeah, something like that is good. But it's just really close to the camera and like kind of uh, just helping you. Hello. I... This is the last day of Larg's filming. It's been a ride. A crazy roller coaster of feelings and stress mostly. I don't know. I don't even know what to say, dude, but it's it's been a lot. I was so excited when I found out that I was gonna be an actor and I was like, I've never really done anything like this before and it's it's a it's a cool experience. So many people come together to tell one story has been really beautiful. And I've just been really impressed that we were able to do this with how rocky pre-production was. It was amazing to see everyone work together and make a beautiful production. And I am just so honored that I was still able to be a part of it. And I love East Hollywood. I love what we do here. And I love the students that worked on this film. And I'm glad and honored that I was able to be a guest director. Will and Spencer, thank you for still including me and all the cast and crew of Advanced Film Study, East Hollywood, 2022. Love you and thank you. Oh, no, Look no, who's no. in like charge one foot now. Here, one foot there. So yeah. Your back towards it. Yeah, like that. Oh, okay. what the heck? Perfect. I'm in the movie now. One day. Um, me, Spencer, and a couple other people stayed behind after it was the wrap of Laura's film. We scared uh, Spencer and Lakai nearly to death. Okay. <laughs> what are we doing, Olivia? Are you gonna sneak in there? Spencer was writing all the words on his wall, and it was fun. Uh, honestly, filming my movie was great. It was so, like, easy breezy. I was the third project uh, to get to film, um, and so I feel like all the problems that we ran into uh, made us better, stronger. By the time we reached that third project, the crew was running great, um, we were all prepped and ready, and so it just went by fantastically. Them walking, I think we talked about having them, them walking this way and one with them walking this So I think they would come from this side then, correct? Yeah. So they're they're going to come, this is going to be them, they're going to be like, ah. But it really tiring. I'm, I'm tired. But I gotta learn a bunch of stuff and make a cool movie, so. And three, two, one, go! I know I've said this a hundred times. This shoot we just did, that we're 99.9% .9 done with. Um, was crazy. We had so many different like yeah. actors and angles and we had three different camera people and we had like a hundred different audio people but guess what? You guys did it and it was Woo! awesome! I told you. I know I'm on the floor. Bring it, 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 you don't. You pour it. <laughs> We're really gonna have to wipe down this table. Look at this bartender Laura God. You really just ignored those first two. I totally did. That's Rafe's cup. He gets that. Bring the Avery's. Okay. Half of this bottle is on the floor or table. We're really gonna have to clean this all up. This is gonna be so fun. Job. <laughs> All up to Carson. Ooh, Will. Oh, Will coming in. Will, 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 Will,